how can we become more equal in earthly and heavenly things? In Doctrine and Covenants section 78, God addressed the need for the early saints to work towards being more equal in all things. At the time of the early saints, there was a lot of poverty, people worked hard, but they didn't have a lot, and some had more than others, and God had provided a way for everyone to share equally with one another. He established a bishop and a storehouse and asked everybody to consecrate what they had to the bishop, who would then in return give to people according to their needs and some of their wants. As humans, sometimes we struggle to be fully sharing with those around us, and we saw that with the early saints, that there were several attempts at fully living the law of consecration in terms of giving everything to the bishop and receiving in return what they needed, but it was really difficult. And God gave this very interesting instruction to the people in section 78. He says to them, that ye may be equal in the bonds of heavenly things, yea, and earthly things also, for the obtaining of heavenly things. For if ye are not equal in earthly things, ye cannot be equal in obtaining heavenly things. So what's interesting is that what God is trying to do is help us be prepared to receive the equality of heaven. And therefore, he's asking his people on earth, even in our fallen nature with all the messiness of life, to attempt to be equal in all things. Now, equality does not mean sameness. And I've shared this before, and I think it bears repeating, that the word iniquity comes from the same word as inequality. And so I see this reinforcing pattern that inequality, inequality leads to iniquity. And iniquity can lead to inequality. And what does God want? He wants to remove inequality, which would take away iniquity. So what are some ways that we can get to equality? There are a couple of steps. First of all, we might ask ourselves, are we willing to consecrate our lives to the building up of Zion, to the work of God? The many saints that I have known, many of them feel this way. In fact, I think most of them feel like they want to fully dedicate their lives to God and to building up the cause of Zion. That is the first start, is to have the desire for such a righteous thing, that righteous desire to help build the lives of others, to be part of God's kingdom and building. Second, it's to understand those in our relationships and our communities. Now, this is the hard thing for many of us as humans is we spend a lot of time thinking about our own thoughts and our own needs, but taking the time to understand who are those around me, what do they need, what do they want? Are there ways that I can be like the Savior to support and encourage them? And one of my favorite stories in the scriptures is Ammon, the great missionary from the Book of Mormon. What did he choose to do? He had really everything. He was the prince, the son of a king. He likely had access to great wealth and learning. And what did he do? He decided to go among those who were without. And he brought with him his knowledge, his enthusiasm, his love for God. And not with the intention to take power from other people, but Ammon went and served the people according to what they needed and what they wanted. There's this interesting made-up law. We all actually know the golden rule. Some people have said that there's the platinum rule. The golden rule says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The platinum rule builds upon that and says, do unto others as they would have done unto them, basically serving them on their terms as they need. That is what Ammon did. And that is a way of actually working towards more equality, more of a Zion community. If we all, each of us, just try a little bit harder each day to try to look out for those around us and to help them accomplish their needs, and the same if people are doing that for us, we have a Zion society where in a consecrated way, we're all building the kingdom of God as we build one another. So, as we listen to this invitation from God to seek equality so that we can have equality in heavenly things, we can look to the example of Ammon and like him, try to serve others as they would love to be served.